What is Haki? Haki is a power that lies dormant in all the world's creatures. Presence, fighting spirit, and intimidation. It is not different from the things that humans can naturally sense, such as these. The act of not doubting, that is strength. Today, we discuss Haki, more specifically, Ushoku Haki. Ushoku Haki allows the user to create a force similar to an invisible armor around themselves. A heavy concentration for coating of this Haki can be used to harden parts of one's body turning the area black, thus making the user denser and more formidable and giving their attacks greater power. Please keep this in mind. This is one part of a number of Haki videos I will be releasing breaking down Haki in a secret. For now, let's answer this question. Does a full body coat make a difference? Personally, I believe that coating your full body has a different purpose and may not necessarily be a superior form. I'm not sure if I'm the minority on this one, but I've heard the other side. First, let's look at the examples. 1. Luffy vs. Bondi World Bondi used full body armament against Luffy, and Luffy took its attacks by concentrating in one spot. 2. Virgo vs. Law Virgo went full body armament and was immediately defeated by Law with a single slash. 3. Zoro vs. Pika Pika went full body armament and was defeated with a single slash by Zoro. Bondi World had the upper hand on Luffy most of the fight and therefore was comfortable using full body. Virgo underestimated Law and believed his strength to be far superior to Law's. Pika felt disrespected by Zoro and wanted to end the fight with one fell swoop. What do these three individuals have in common? Well, they all went on the offensive and wasn't concerned defensively. People have asked, why would someone go full armament? I believe, by using full body, Offensively, your spirit is channeled through your black armament as it is shown that in full armament, the actual black hardening color changes slightly. Therefore, offensively, you would be more powerful, but defensively, you wouldn't be as formidable. Another reason could be intimidation, because essentially, none of these users had conquered hockey, and this could be a way to embody that by forcing doubt into one's mind. I believe that once you are covered in full body armament, your hockey is then thinned out and not as concentrated. Therefore, weaker resistance and also could be another reason for the color change. I compare it to Hunter Hunter and Nen. Nen is the life energy produced by all living bodies and vital for survival. Aura from all parts of the body has a tendency to flow together, producing one mass of energy similar to Haki. Ko is explained to be an enhanced version of Nen when Aura is concentrated into one particular body part. It makes that one part exceptionally powerful, but leaves the rest of the body unprotected. Defensively, it could be used to block an attack that's less concentrated or even be used offensively. Another rebuttal was that one cannot thin out their hockey, therefore thinning out their will. But to that I say, that one should not be able to run out of said hockey, which we saw happen with Luffy vs. Doflamingo. Doflamingo, who was a master of hockey in his own right, not once went full body even though he had the advantage, but chose to defend Luffy's attacks by concentrating his hockey even onto his feathers. This further proves that full body can be a facade to force intimidation to bring doubt into one's mind or like I said before, channel their spirit throughout their armament black. In conclusion, I believe it is clear that using full body could be an asset if the opponent has weak will. Zoro had his conviction to protect his captain, Law had his conviction to avenge Corazon, and Luffy, well, he's Luffy. Let me know what you thought about this theory in the comment section. Do you think full body is just as potent as it being concentrated elsewhere? Thanks for watching.